thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank both of you for being here. And thank you both as well for a very interesting phone conversations, or I guess we met in person in your cases, and I'm gr grateful for that. I was encouraged by it, um, quite honestly. And so I probably have more questions than time, but we'll submit the rest for later. I wanted to follow up, uh, General Van Herk, with um, our discussion about over-the-horizon radar. As I think I mentioned to you, um, the, the lab, the Air Force lab, and, and uh, and uh, NORAD, I think, did a, uh, Nor NORAD, uh, NORTHCOM, did a test in North Dakota at Camp Grafton, which is a National Guard um, camp and uh, facility. And our, our feedback was that the results were um, far extended, actually, or far, far exceeded the expectations. And I'd just be interested in your knowledge of over the horizon radar, what you see coming, um, if anything, and how you think it might play out. Sure, Senator. Um, anything that enhances our capability for domain awareness uh, is going to be crucial, mm -hmm. uh, specifically with regards to ballistic missile and cruise missile capabilities, a longer range, and to keep an eye on uh, what may be going on uh, over the Arctic uh, and beyond. Uh, specific to the test, uh, I don't have the details. I'll get those from uh, AFRL if confirmed. But uh, specific, we're looking for um, dis further discrimination, especially with ballistic missiles as they get more advanced and the technology um, with debris and decoy kind of information uh, would be crucial. And any of those radar uh, capabilities would help us with that. As long as we're on the topic of radar, maybe I'll throw one out that both of you could weigh in on. Um, we talked about the radar station at Cavalier that is a, a, a Space Force station now. Um, and uh, has been there since the 1970s. It's, <laughs> it, it looks its age. Um, but I'm wondering about the data that's collected there. Is it still relevant? And, and is there more that can be done in terms of modernizing uh, the space station at Cavalier for uh, awareness? And uh, yeah, we could start with General. So, Senator, uh, the data that comes from that is absolutely critical to our miss missile warning uh, architecture that we have uh, throughout the uh, North America as well as the rest of the world. Um, in terms of uh, you know, the age of the radar and those types of things, uh, I can speak from, uh, uh, from a position of U.S. Spacecom if confirmed that, that I would take a look at those capabilities and, uh, and put the demand or the requirements to the U.S. Space Force uh, and work with General Raymond on uh, improving if that's what we need to do. So that leads to... Well, it wasn't planning to be the follow-up to that, but it makes perfect sense. Um, since we got that at Cavalier and, and we're still waiting for results and to see just how specific and how clear images uh, can be from over the horizon radar, uh, the northern tier becomes important. Um, you, we've talked a little bit about the Arctic, but there's not a lot between Minnesota and, you know, or Michigan and, and say, Montana, and uh, except North Dakota and some, some other important states. But... Um, what I'm sort of wondering about is, as it relates to the to the Arctic itself, and should an attack come from, you know, over Saskatchewan or Manitoba, um, you know, are we prepared for that? Do we have the right equipment? Do we have enough tankers and bombers and response uh, weapons uh, if something like that should happen? And maybe, yeah, General Van Herc, you'd be the logical. Senator, my understanding is that the current ballistic missile defense uh, system is uh, capable of defending against the intended uh, threat that we have today. Um, with regards to uh, uh, bombers and additional threats, uh, the cruise missile threat uh, certainly is a concern, uh, and that would be a top priority if confirmed for me and, and domain awareness. It goes back to your radar question, having awareness uh, as, uh, uh, of what is coming over the horizon. So if confirmed, I'd look forward to partnering with you and the committee to ensure we uh, get after that threat. Um, before my time runs out, I do want to associate myself with some of the issues raised by Senator Shaheen with regard to a garden, and I know that there's a, a process for doing that, and I think a, a deliberative process, slow process. It doesn't have to be done the way it's always been done, let's just say that. And so I, uh, with regard to space, I, I appreciate that. The only other thing I'd bring up at this point is um, with General Dickinson. When General Raymond did visit Grand Forks in the University of North Dakota in January, just after being named chief, he, did t he told the University of North Dakota they'd be a great fit for a space-related um, UARC, university-affiliated research centers. 
Um, since then, we know that it's changed from a consortium of schools to a competition for a school or, or group of schools, and the process has slowed down. So as we understand, it's going to be Space Command, not Force, Space Force, that would actually run the UARC. So how do you envision a Space UARC coming together? And we, I certainly I asked that question also with the, um, the statement that we sure hope that UND is very seriously considered and a, and a partner. Senator, that is a program, as the deputy at U.S. Space Command right now, that is a program that we're actively looking at right now. We, we understand the value, the absolute value of having a UARC as part of that. In my previous assignment, I was a chief of staff at U.S. STRATCOM, where we, uh, we leveraged the UARC uh, very well within that combatant command. And as we stand up U.S. Space Command, we're, we're looking at the best practices right now across the other combatant commands in the department to, to see how best to stand that up to meet the needs that we're going to have. And I envision over the next uh, nine months or so that we'll have a, that will that program will come together in a, in a formal way. I appreciate that. And just close by just again reminding you that um, we, we are a northern tier state with important assets, uh, academic and, and talent and others, as well as uh, well positioned to both defend the Arctic and uh, play a role in space. And with that, I thank you. Thank you.